99.9327684973429 of the time she will fail Que la que hay mi gente, Rico Toro, Uf. Dr. Rico Toro, PhD, Relationship Advisor, a lot of other things, just not Chica Babysitter, so if you're regular, welcome back, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, because you're going to be entertained, you might learn something. And those regular already hit that thumbs up. So, you know what it is. at the Salud. 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 So, after too many weeks of only being in the gym like two to three times, but drinking four to five times a week, this week I switched it up. You know, rolled back, got a little focused. First drink all week. And was in the gym four times this week. Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday. So, salute of me. This is not Santo Libre this time. Today, it's just leyenda on the rocks. And I'm gonna slowly sip that a few times. Um, because leyenda, made by Brugal, is supposed to be, is supposed to be the best or at least the best in the Brugal family. But the previous times that I tried it, you know, somebody threw me a random shot or something after I'd already had a few Santo Libres. So that's not really the best way to tell if it's good or not. So, just gonna sip it slow on the rocks, bring some water in between. Having the plate of the day come out, so. Shout out to that brother Brown that um, gave me my props on my Spanish speaking skills. Just, you know, a little conversation I had in passing um, during, on my last video. So, you know, I appreciate that. That sort of um, feedback, whether, whether negative or positive, it's always encouraging and just makes me want to continue to do what I want to do. So shout out to him. And, Shout out to Mayor. Shout out to Mayor Willie. Mayor Willie, that's right. So, anyways, we're gonna talk a little bit about testing, testing the ladies. You gotta test them every now and then. I already said the punchline, they fail, but, you know, actually, you know, two things bring this up. One, the recent conversations I've been having with, with one of mine, where I decided to test her with um, my second phone. I didn't believe that she still had that number saved, so I tried her, you know? And another situation, somebody, a uh, friend of the channel, who I haven't met in person yet, and I wouldn't do this for my best friend, what he asked. He offered to send me a cash app of a decent chunk of change to, and he sent me like an email with pictures, the Facebook link to his lady or a lady he's working on. And you know, wanted me basically to uh, test her out. You know, he, he said basically, you know, she's supposed to be a non-pro this and that. Um, that's debatable, you know, and, and just, you know, try to try to get me to figure out the patience to try to move on her and see what she take the bait. And I said, please don't send me a cash app for that because that I'm not in that business of service. So where were we? Let's continue. 
This is actually a video. I wanted to do the full thing basically from the street, but you know, sometimes out in the street, you're like, you know, you're just not feeling it. Just like there's too much happening to do certain topics out there. So I said, you know what? I got to come wrap this up from my couch. I think this is probably like free game episode 27 or something because I've done a little bit of free game lately. A lot, actually, if y'all break it down. So, anyways, yeah, the guy, like I say, the one friend of the channel wanted to send me a cash app with all kinds of contact info and, and stuff to do a little recon, a little investigative work on, on his lady, we'll say. And... I just had to shut that down. So, so actually, uncharacteristic of me, um, you know, after some recent conversations with one of my regulars, and you know, the other day, like I, I really never reach out to her to see her, you know, but and I would see her more. If she wasn't like such a little spoiled pain in the ass sometimes. But, you know, the boom boom is incredible every time she brings it. Consistent, you know. Um, you know, I believe that it took me a while to get her to where things are the way they are in that area. So... Sometimes you just get curious, you know? There's certain questions that you know, wanna ask, there's certain things that, there's certain things that you really wanna know, but you really don't wanna know is, is the reality with, uh, with a lot of these women that, that, were, that we're meeting. I mean, I meet all types, but most that are watching this, the types most are meeting. So, you know, like the other day she's talking about, she's like, you know, hit me up to see her. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, nah, not till later this week or whatever. And I'm like, I'm sure you got plenty of opportunities. And she's like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. But um, I'm not responding to anybody. I want to see you, Rico. And... So I'm like, yeah, I'm, blessed. I'm like, that's nonsense, whatever, whatever. And she says, no, I'll prove it to you. So that, that's what sort of piqued my interest. So, um, so she sends me a screenshot of her Facebook Messenger inbox. And it, she had to actually do a video of it because it was so long. And it's just scrolling down like all these unopened messages. And I could tell by the nature they were all sort of the, the first message or the conversation starting messages, like, hola, Bella, you know, um, kind of thing, just a lot of olas. And so she had pages and days worth of unopened messages there. But, you know, I'm like, all right, whatever. So, so I'm like, all right, whatever. I really didn't need to know that. But she insisted on letting me know there's all these options. She didn't want them. Meanwhile, rent is due and she's begging me. So, so eventually, you know, I say, all right, come Thursday, which was yesterday. And... We'll say she's supposed to come at 3 p.m. So, I wake up Thursday like, I don't think she still has my second phone number because I blocked her several, I blocked her in recent times, you know, from my main number and she never tried to reach me on the other number. But in the past, she used to do that. If I blocked her from one, she would check the other, you know, etc. 
So I think between when she changed phones once, she never saved the old number again. So, so here's the thing, yeah, I block her because she is kind of a pain in the ass at times. So sometimes I don't see her for like weeks at a time or even like once, not a month and a half because like I say, there's some little personality things about her that just annoy me and you know just you know I don't want to deal with it, you know sometimes so so while there's a curiosity like what kind of service what kind of activities are going on with others I'm also not like so obsessed that I'm willing to like try some crazy outlandish exclusive arrangement that will never work either you know because that because i know better they all dip on the side so so yesterday i take my old phone and i don't encourage nobody else to do this i'm just sharing my story and moment of weakness i had and i used a random a random picture as like a whatsapp profile picture Changed the name from my initials to like Thomas or something. And you know, I just hit her up with a starter message like, hola, buenos dias. And she responds pretty quickly. And then we have a little back and forth. She's asking me where I'm from. She's telling me where she lives. Um, I'm telling her, oh yeah, I'm staying over at Las Palmeras Hotel. It's my second time in the country. She didn't even ask how I got the number. You know, this Thomas guy that she's playing along like I, she believes I am. So next thing you know, she's like, when would you like to see me? And you know, I was kind of doing the, let's see if she's gonna be late for me or how that's gonna screw her up or if she would agree to around the same time as I was gonna so I was thinking about these things. So I'm like, ah, oh, how about two? And then you know, and then a little bit goes by and she's like, okay, um, is it possible I come early? I'm home bored or, or whatever. And you know, so I'm like, yeah, okay. And then we get into like the nitty gritty, you know, the logistics and you know, get everything writing, right? Well, I probably screwed it up. This is where I screwed it up, actually. Um, because I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see how she would respond. So I asked her one of those, would she do one of those questions for a little more compensation? One of those things that I say, don't put in writing. And you know, she, and you know, she's like, no. She's like, no, okay. Like, you know, she didn't really want to answer that either. Anyways, and you know, these are things that it took me like six months of knowing her to get her to go to some of these areas. So immediately she tried the video call and you know, I didn't answer the call first, and I answered on like the third one, <laughs> and you know, I was just, she was just like, she sort of was like, you're crazy, Rico, you're too mellow, and I said, I said, you're disgusting, I said, you're dirty, I said, you were gonna, you were gonna go see, you were gonna go see this guy before me, you know, and, and whatever, whatever, and we sort of, we sort of, like I say, after some trash talking, and then, you know, I ended the call, and I basically was like, you know, come at three like planned if you really want me to put it on you. So, she came as scheduled, and, you know, um, had a great time. Had a great time, like, you know, that little setup. She didn't bring that up. It wasn't brought up at all. So after the fact, you know, I'm curious how she's going to respond to some questions. And, and you know, um, like I say, a lot of times 
we think we want to know certain things. We really don't. We really don't. But, you know, I like to see if somebody's going to lie or how honest they're going to be when I think I know the answers. So, there's a little distance between where she lives and where I'm at. So, so I, um, so I asked her, I said, um, well, first I'm like, so I asked her, I said, so if you would have came to that early appointment afterwards, would you have went back home until, you, you know, time we're supposed to meet? Or would you um, look for another appointment? And, you know, she was just straight up. She was like, see, usually the yes is to the first question. They don't answer the whole thing or both questions. See, and, you know, you know basically, porque tu sabe, necesito dinero para mi casa. Okay? Like, yeah, because you know I need... Yes, you know I, you know I need money for my rent or whatever, whatever. So, so, I'm like, all right, well, I really appreciate your honesty. I said, just do me a favor. I'll see you earlier. I'll see you earlier if you got a hectic day or something or whatever, or just happen. It's your a lucky day for you where things are busier than normal and I'll see you earlier just do me that favor don't come see me after you know one or two or hopefully not three or four you know people ahead of me and and she just sort of laughs you know whatever I said look I don't care what anybody does half the time I ask questions to see if they're gonna lie and I appreciate the honesty you know so that's just some of the reality now I know the reality is often it's many many of them those that those that you never see in Sosua they're not every day every week you know booked solid with multiple appointments you know there are many that do come up on call and when they're done they go home most of the time. Um, you know, I also know that, like, given the opportunity, they'll always say the rent's due or, you know, I need money. And, you know, um, as if they're always desperate. So, you know, that doesn't really, it doesn't really wash as an excuse to say, Today, they're more ambitious than others. No, it just means some days they have more options than others. Because they're, you know, they're always, when the option's there, the opportunity's there, they're equally ambitious, usually. So, there you go. More free game. Rico Toro. Hit that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already done so. So, yeah. Basically, the rule of thumb is... You can't be mad at a hoe for being a hoe. That's all I can say.